something that a 747 has never done before. and it allows us to make a fairly small, affordable launch vehicle, and it also gives us the flexibility to launch from many different places. We just did our first flight with the rocket attached last November, and that was really, really exciting. We did configuration changes, airspeed changes. We got to see for the first time how the aircraft actually flies. We have models that we look at until you actually put the rocket on the aircraft to go fly with it, you don't know. So surprisingly, it flew great if you have plenty of thrust from GE engines and plenty of performance. Those engines are rock solid. In order for our satellite to be able to get to the orbits it needs, we need to drop it with as high an aircraft pitch attitude as possible. Once we release the rocket, the aircraft just kind of rolls off to the right and do a low-speed recovery, creating altitude for airspeed. The rocket drops for five seconds, and then it lights, and off it goes. The small satellite industry is getting ready to really take off. What we're trying to do is make it affordable, make it flexible. The satellites do everything nowadays. There's Earth observation, tracking of ships and airplanes, communication and internet. One application is a constellation of hundreds of small satellites that provides internet coverage across the world. So you could be in the middle of Ethiopia and get internet connectivity. prove out our concept of operations. To me, this is a make or break year. I think will be a game changer in the industry.